This week's episode is brought to you by 1UP Collectibles, where you can get a mail order subscription to have all your favorite comics sent right to your house and save up to 30% off back issues. 1UPCollectibles.com. What's up, Internet? This is Brown Kid from Albotus.com, and this is my review of Star Wars Number 1 from Marvel. Written by Jason Aaron, with art by John Cassidy, this is a really big deal. You see, way back in the day, the very first Star Wars comic ever made was made by Marvel, and it was actually made before the movie even came out. It was a huge chance, it was a huge risk, and it paid off. It was that kind of first little spark that ignited the whole merchandising giant franchise that is Star Wars. But then later down the road, Dark Horse acquired the license, so for years, they've been the one to publish the Star Wars comics. But then, as a lot of you probably know, Disney acquired Marvel, Disney acquired Star Wars, so this was only a matter of time. Now, I didn't have any sort of real expectations. I love Star Wars, I love Marvel, but I just, I don't know, I thought it could go kind of either way. I was pleasantly surprised. So this takes place right after the Rebels blow up the Death Star. And now they're on this colony trying to possibly procure weapons from a weapons factory. And the pacing of this story is told so well, it is very cinematic. Even the very first page you just see a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You turn the page, you get a big big splash of the Star Wars logo and as you're reading it as a huge fan it's hard not to hear that music and then you turn the page and you get the Star Wars scrolly text telling you what's going on and you're just hearing the music and it's like watching the movie for the first time all over again because you're in this whole new Star Wars experience. John Cassidy nails the art in this especially Han Solo. Han Solo's face is great. It looks just like Harrison Ford and you, you hear everyone's voices as you're reading this even when they have R2-D2's little bleeps and bloops written out you hear them just in this single issue alone you get a lot of action you get suspense you get Darth Vader using stormtroopers as human shields as he lifts them up with the force it's freaking awesome if you like Star Wars you have no excuse you should really 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 be reading this I loved it way more than I thought I would definitely gonna add it to my pull list and I'm very excited for the new Princess Leia ongoing and the Darth Vader ongoing coming soon for Marvel so I might have to add those to my pull list as well now if you don't live near a comic shop don't have a way to get a hold of this, don't worry. I have a second copy right here that I will be giving away on the albotus.com Instagram. So just go to Instagram, follow albotus. You'll see a picture if you scroll. It'll tell you all the jibba jabbly doodly doos on how to get one of these. Let me know what you're reading down in the comments below and maybe I'll talk about it on a future video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. And if you're not doing so already, head over to albotus.com and click the little follow button if you have a Tumblr account so you can see all of our news every day. If not, just visit us every day because we are always talking about cool stuff. So we're just awesome like that. Stay awesome.